Not much new from Suzuki, just uh, I think they have, I think they're dropping the 150 SS. Not a big seller, and then they have the digital 140. The 140 is, uh, if you're in the market for 140, it's not a performance oriented boat, it's awesome. Really well priced, super small. I think it's 390 pounds, so it's probably one of the, probably the best 140 out there. Again, if you're more into like a fishing boat that's not intended to be fast or anything, it's probably, it's a great repower engine, has digital as an option, which is great. So yeah, Suzuki, I like Suzuki in a lot of ways, just not really my kind of boating necessarily, but I think they're doing a great job. They look really good, priced really well, tons of features. And that, um, 300's kind of maybe a little underrated, actually. It's a nice gear case, well-priced. Nice three-power engine. That's a huge part of their game is repowering. So Honda has kind of revamped their mid-range only to sort of match their bigger engines as far as aesthetics. Uh, I'll have to look at the details. It's not that interesting. Like, it's... They look better, I guess. There's, oh, it seems like a monster. I don't know if they changed the engine at all. I doubt they did, but... I'll look into the details more, but... Um, that one for is just preposterously big. It's kind of silly. And I actually like the aesthetics of the smaller ones. I actually like... The 60 looks great. The 90 looks great. These perform really well. They're actually pretty good engines. Uh, the 150... You know, not a bad, the old one, I don't know if the, I gotta check the new one, but the old one wasn't awful. The gear ratio is not great, but it's, you know, bang for your buck, Honda reliability. Maybe a little on the heavy side, but it's competitive. And they had this 140, which is uh, same as the 115, 150, with the white cowling and different aesthetics. They look good. They're just not the most competitive. They don't market them that well, and they're just, you don't see them on the water that often. I think globally they do well, though.